Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I've got a sticker haul for you and I haven't done one of these in a long, long time. So let's hope that I remember how to do them and I haven't lost my touch. Um, yeah, so let's kick it off with um, Ink Paper Plan. Um, also, this is gonna be fun because um, I have been saving up a bunch of happy mail and so I'm like a little bit not even sure what's in here myself so we'll see um but yeah this is my order from Ink Paper Plan which is a shop I PR for as y'all know um let me separate this out okay there's a lot all right here we go so I think I got two kits let us look at them. Oh, there's also some other stuff in here. See, yep, I have totally forgotten. Okay, let's go with the first kit, which is, let me move this over so that it's clear what's where. Cool, so this first kit is Abundant. This is a fall kit, as y'all can tell. Um, and it's in light gold foil, or at least I got it in light gold foil. I think uh, Ink Paper Plan, her shop lets you pick which foil you want. So this is definitely feeling like a fall scene kit, as you know. One thing I love about this kit is the introduction of a soft blue. I love blue for fall. I feel like fall tends to be really yellow and orange heavy. And so I love when blue is introduced. I also love the kind of pinks in this as well. I like the pastels on this sheet always. And then here's the last sheet with some smaller boxes, headers. Note the thin headers over here. Um, and some lace labels. So that is the kit. This is the uh, trims for this kit. Also the washi, extra washi, which is really interesting. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that. I might put it over the, hmm, I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure out how to use it. But here's the trims, which I think are really nice for header deco. Um, I also got the checklist add-on, which is like the functional bits with the habit tracker and meal tracker and checklist stuff. This is also the deco. Again, it's very kind of traditional fall with the like reddish, orangish, but um, I love it in the colors of the kit. So this is abundant. The next kit, and again, we're just we're discovering together what I've ordered, is amber. It's, this is more in the traditional fall. So this is the... Um, freebie that came with the kit date covers it's like gold um this is also the deco I always get two sheets because I like to have a lot of options and so um this kit is much more of the orangey um kind of brownie of traditional fall but it's also got some purple and like lavender which I really really like so I love this bridge scene it's really pretty um I think I got this one in rose gold um so this is the, these are the full boxes. And again, um, here is the kind of rosy, not rosy, it's more like a um, peachy orange that you see in a lot of fall kits, but I really think works well here in contrast with the more, is it mauve? Is this a, is it fair to say this is a mauve? Yeah, with the mauve um, washi and kind of the gray, but like slightly green uh, washi strips. Um, Here's the box page. One thing I'm, I love about Ink Paper Plan is that she's managed to still retain these half boxes. I see a lot of shops doing kit reformats and they're taking away the half boxes. And I'm like, I really need these to mark work and a bunch of other things. So it's making me kind of sad, but I would love to see more half boxes. I'm glad that I have them here. Um, the sheet with the more like smaller boxes and headers again and the circle labels. And so that's abundant. Now let's see what else I ordered here. So, I it looks like I got two journaling sheets. I did I order this? Huh, this might have just been a freebie she threw in. Or yeah, I don't know. These look like they are from one of the um summer kits. But anyway, could find a way to use them, could not. So, these are the two kits from Ink Paper Plan, Amber and Abundant. They're definitely fall related. Super excited to use them and if you pick these up, uh, make sure to use my code, which is Ashley20, um, or put my name in the notes for my freebie. Next, I've got a couple of things from Letters to Apollo. So I'm just going to start with the kit aglow. Now, um, she packages her deco plus 
kit separately. So I'm going to open this. I think I also might have gotten a two dollar Tuesday. See again, this is a this is a journey of discovery that we're on together. Here we go. All right, let's organize ourselves a little bit here. So I'm gonna start with the freebies and what I think is a two dollar Tuesday. So this is Shanice of Planners and Tacos. Um, her freebie. This is really cute. I love these butterflies and I just love the scripts. So definitely use her code when you um, uh, check out the shop, Shanice 10. And then this is Tara of the Sticker Gardens freebie, which is in silver. I don't have nearly enough silver butterflies. Also, are these ladybugs? OMG! Ladybugs are so cute. This feels really springy. Like, these feel like raindrops to me. So super cute. Okay, here's the $2 Tuesday. Now, I ordered these Folklore Days. Why? I'm obsessed with this font. So that Missing Meow Kit folklore, it had this font. And I was like, girl, make these date like labels into a sticker. Like make these and I will buy them. And then I saw them from um, Letters to Paul and I was like, I have to snatch them up. I just love this font. It feels so rustic. I have no real reason. But um, so I like this enough that I bought two of each foil colors. <laughs> so I have lots of these which is exciting um but i will be using these in a spread near you so folklore days okay so this kit is called a glow and um this is the uh the date covers and the other like traditional fonts in gold light gold um this kit i was pretty much envisioning i think as like a still a summer kit to me um so uh this is the deco my two sheets were usual, but it's got a lot of the tradition, traditional, that is going to be my buzzword today. Um, it's got a lot of the usual pink and um, a little bit of blue and white that make, me, make it feel summery, almost springy to me. So I got the deco. I also got the um, journaling, or no, it's the large deco sheet. This is not a journaling sheet. And trans, uh, the transparent mat. And I love to put this deco at the top of the page and just kind of smooth it down. I think it just is a really nice finish for headers. I also think when you kind of um, add it to the corners of spreads, like if you, you see how this is kind of cut to fit in the corner. When you put that in the corner, it just makes it look so, I don't know. It's just like a really nice touch with the transparent mat. So I got that. So this is the um, kit. It's, again, it's called a glow and it's in light gold foil. And it's like very plant themed. Again, it feels sort of springy, sort of summery. Like the honey could definitely be spring or summer to me because of bees. Um, same with the bees and butterflies here. So I'd say, you know, if I was going back in time and going to plan with this earlier in this year, I probably would have made this a spring to summer transition kit. But here we are uh, almost in fall. Well, we're in mid we're in mid-August, so we're in the later end of summer. Um, but this is the second sheet, and I love gingham. I love a gingham moment. So that is super cute. I'm so glad that I got this. I could definitely easily see the gingham going well with these, um, with the translucent flowers. So we'll see what we can do there. But you got a lot of options for labels here, and these are for the date covers. So again, can have gingham throughout. Um, this is the box sheet. As I said, a lot of shops are moving towards smaller boxes. I would prefer larger ones. So there's only a few kind of half boxes, which is okay. I'll make it work. But most of these are quarter and label boxes. And again, beautiful, really pretty. Love the lace detail. This is the sheet with the washi. I like the lace washi in blue. And again, gingham. Just super excited about the gingham throughout. Got some smaller labels, larger labels, a bunch of different sizes here. The One Habit Tracker. I think you can order a functional sheet now with the new redesign that she um, just recently did that has like a meal tracker, but that's not in here. So this is a glow from Letters to Apollo. Let me gather all this up along with the $2 Tuesday of the Folklore Days. The second thing that we have from Letters to Apollo is this camp kit. So let me disassemble this. And if you'll notice, fall, you know, has mostly been for me like rose gold and gold. I love to incorporate more silver. Last year, Letters to Apollo had this um, silver foil kit that was so pretty. And I'm trying to find more silver. 
um, but I think for the most part is going to be rose gold and gold. Um, so we'll see what we can do on the silver to mix it up. Um, but per usual, this is the deco. It's very light gray, um, very delicate. A light gray with a hint of like a light kind of purple blue. Um, then these are the uh, washi trims and strips. Uh, good for your header deco. That's what I'm planning to use them for. Also good, these smaller ones, I think, to augment the existing washi strips in the kit. Um, I bought the journaling sheet because I just love to do really fun things in the sidebar with the like large items, the like large um, deco. So uh, this like camping pole is going to be really cute. These boots, like I never know what to do with stamps. If y'all got some ideas of what to do with stamps, let me know. And honestly, quite frankly, the little Polaroids, I really don't know what to do with them. I feel like people tend to come up with really cool things to do, but when I try it, it just doesn't look good. So once again, another Ginga moment. Um, but yeah, this is the journaling sheet and I um, am looking forward to doing cool things with what's in here. I really want to find a way to frame this scene. It's kind of an odd shape in terms of like, there's no boxes that I could um, easily kind of pick up and frame this with. Um, so I'm going to have to kind of probably cut some things together, hack it together, but we'll see. So this is camp. These are the headers. Um, and this is in rose gold. And I like this in particular because this kit is very cool toned. Um, this feels fall to me, but I could see an argument that it's more of a transition from summer to fall. I mean, you can go camping and late summer and fall. So this could be a transition kit as well as like a fall kit. Um, but I felt like it was really, to me, I think I'm going to use it in fall. So um, yeah, it's the rose gold is kind of offset by these blues and very cool grays, which I think is really unique and interesting. Here is the sheet, same as the last kit with your headers, the smaller deco, really like these butterflies, and then these strips at the bottom. Um, and oh, I guess you could use this as a meal tracker, actually. I saw that they didn't include it, but I guess you could totally use that. So that's, that's definitely there. Um, boxes in terms of, yep, your labels, your half boxes, your quarter boxes, and then the washi. Again, love a lace detail. And the flowers here, again, are really delicate. I just think it's really light and airy and pretty. And rose gold is such an, an interesting choice for this. And I think it really works. So that's camp. Letters to Apollo, and that is the end of Letters to Apollo. I'm going to take a sip of water. Next, we have Miss and Meow, and um, this is going to be a kit, the kit, one of the kits that was inspired by Taylor Swift. I think this was the one. Was, was there another when she did this release? I don't remember. Um, but this kit is called Sad Girl Autumn. And I'm super excited for it. So here we go. This is a freebie, Ooh, freebie with gold labels. Uh, yeah, this will always come in handy. So we'll definitely find a use for it. This is the deco, your traditional kind of purple, or rather it's not purple, it's more of like a wine color, like a maroonish, reddish, and then orange and yellow. So it's got the kind of hot or warm colors for fall. Um, or autumn. Um, but again, I always like to have extra deco just in case. So this is Sad Girl Autumn. This is in rose gold foil. And um, this jacket is from the album cover and the hat. The jacket scarf. The, wait, the scarf? Yeah. Yep. Um, and so uh, you see the tailor all too well. She got that printed there with a the little play button um, and circled it in the uh, script in the, I guess these are the lyrics. Wow. Um, I know she mentioned this when she did the release, but it was a little while ago. So I've like totally forgotten, but yeah, such really cute details. Um, and definitely feel like this is a very kind of strong colors, like really bold colors for fall kit. So, um, this is definitely going to be your traditional one. Um, I love all of the icons that Miss and Meow does. Her icons are so well matched to her kits and they're so pretty. Like I end up just like not using even the other ones I bought for her. Like she just puts everything that I could possibly need in a kit. And I'm super excited about that and always excited to play with her kits. So yeah, more labels here. 
different size um, headers. I really like these corners. Um, I never know what to do with these sheets. These um these like boxes, I guess. This looks like a sh like a sheet of paper to me. That's why I said sheet. But people have done really interesting things with them. More circle labels and ovals. Um, lots of square boxes, not really half size. That's okay. And here is the washi sheet. I like the leaves on the washi. These colors work so well together. And this feels like, it's like a slightly different swoosh than I've seen, I think, before. I think this is a really, really cute pivot for her uh, day labels. More torn paper. Um, I like these little frames. I think I'm slowly making my way into getting used to working with them really well. And I got the journaling deco sheet for the same reason I got the other one, Letters to Apollo. I think I could do some really cool things with this. Um, and just really want to, yeah, make the sidebar really sing with this extra uh, large deco. Um, and I love these washi strips, extra kind of washi deco, um, so that it can use it in the header. So this is Sad Girl Autumn from Miss and Meow in rose gold. And yeah, once again, rose gold for fall, groundbreaking. Next is White Deer Stationery. And I gotta tell you that when I looked over and saw this in here, I was like, I had a White Deer Stationery order? This should tell you how long I've been hanging on to the, this Happy Mail and somehow managing to not use it. Okay, we're gonna go in the freebie. I always love this little sticker. It's like the deer prints. It's cute. Okay. So the freebie has your kind of normal sampler things on it. It's a ribbon. I guess this is summer related. Cell phone, barbecue, dog leash. So like a planner. What is this? Is this a tape? I think this is a tape thing for taping boxes or orders. Yeah, maybe. Hard to tell. Anyway, that's the freebie. Let's open up the order. All right, let's see what I got here. Okay, I've got some laundry samplers. This is cute. I was probably running out of these. I like the open washer. Utensils, always need that. I'm always eating, I am hungry. Oh, cereal bowl. I am getting into cereal again. My favorite cereals are Fruit Loops and cornflakes. Although I've been eating way more Fruit Loops lately, it's just it feels very nostalgic. Waffles, also another breakfast food of mine that I love. Um, one of my uh, old jobs, the places I worked before, you could go in and make your own waffle in the morning. They had those little cups of batter. You could put some chocolate chips in it. That was the life. I think they had it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Spray bottle for cleaning. Always need that. I was definitely running out of these slippers for my self-care slash sleeping in, you know, adventures. <laughs> um, dumbbells, still lift weights three times a week. Still gonna need these. Same for the gym bag. <laughs> um, this, the quotations on the bottom of this remind me of those like Snapple facts. It's like, well, you mean this, yeah. <laughs> um, laptops, right oriented, always need these. Um, Clock, yeah, I'm trying to get better about my time management. Um, I feel like my schedule is most of the part like really carefully choreographed until it's not. So when things go wrong, they go very, very wrong. <laughs> uh, cell phone to remind me to call my parents, which I need to do more of. Hi, mom, if you're watching. Uh, <laughs> Autumn leaves, this is gonna come in handy just cause fall is coming up and need this for all fall kits. Same for these acorns. I have a lot of foil leaves and foil acorns, but none like of the um, drawn, uh, like hand-drawn stickers. So definitely need more of this. Skincare, I am on my skincare game. I am on a retinol these days, which means I'm crazy about my sunscreen. Like I am on top of it. So need to remain on top of it. Um, dumpster fire. These are definitely going to come in handy for those work days when it's a dumpster fire. We've all had them. And yeah, I don't know if just one sheet is enough. Um, <laughs> ice cream cone. I love ice cream. I'm going to have ice cream today. Um, I think they had these in another colorway. Um, but I, yeah, this is going to come in handy. And that is it for the white deer stationery. So I've got a lot of stickers. 
I will be organizing them in my Ray and Tay Co binders. I love it when they have, when they have a sale, I always pick up a stack. This is not as thick as like my normal stack, but yep. Next we have two little bees. Huh. So sad her shop closed. Like I totally get it, her needing to take a break, but definitely shopped her um, going away sale very hard. And I know she said it'll be like four to five weeks. Um, so I'm going to be patiently waiting for those stickers to come. But in the meantime, this was a summer kit that I ordered from her. Um, here's the sampler. I actually had this sunflower, the sunflower kit that this goes to in my cart. And I swapped it out for something else. And I don't remember why. This would have gone really cute. Because like sunflowers always scream summer to me. But I see them in a lot of fall kits. So I feel like they can be in both. Um, but yeah, this is a cute sampler. Even if I don't have that kit, I definitely have a lot of sunflower kits um, that I could use this with. So this kit is called Seaside. That's what I thought. Um, and here's the deco. It reminds me again of the deco for that Letters to Apollo kit, that camp kit, in terms of the just style of it. But it feels very delicate, um, very pretty. Uh, and definitely very like seaside. And so I wanted to get this transparent sheet again because I just really like the detail that you can see in this. If you look at this, ooh, let my camera focus, you can see the detail on that rose on the inside of this flower. And I feel like having them in transparent matte, it really shows it very clearly. So um, I wanted it in that instead of the premium. So this is seaside, it's in silver foil. And as I said, obviously it's a summer kit. A look here. I really like that shops are doing more scenes in their full boxes, so that's exciting. Also, look another another like play uh button thing. That's cute. Um, so yeah, this is seaside, lots of blues and kind of sunsetty colors, but really a mix of like blue, green, and pink. Um, and yeah, uh, this is the a sheet with the habit trackers, meal trackers, some headers, use uh, photo frames here, some deco. Thank you for including a weekend sticker. That's amazing. I never have enough of those. Um, a larger frame. I wonder if, yes, yes. I'm just gonna pull this out now because I sometimes I have to like cut that out and it's annoying um, to do with my sharp, with my X-Acto knife, but thank you for just taking it out. That's amazing. So lots of boxes here. The pink is really cute. I mean, I guess this is more of a peach, um, but I'm grateful to have a few half size boxes. And then here's the washi. Oh, it's this way. Um, yeah, the slice detail is pretty. Uh, I really like, I've always liked her headers. I think this is a different, kind of slightly different this week, next week. It feels like the office font to me. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, this is going to be such a cute kit to, to plan with. There are only a few weeks left in summer, so I'm going to get this in my planner. A Sappington, as the kids say. Oh my gosh, I'm never saying that again. Uh, anyway, the two will be seaside and silver foil. Next, we have Pretty Pink Co. I left this in the package because I just think this is adorable. How cute is this? Is this envelope? Like, like, this is just... You know, I don't know. I, it's so cute. It stood out to me. So I'm just going to leave it here so y'all can kind of look at it. Here we go. I think I also got some $2 Tuesday in this and some fall related deco in addition to the kit. So I'm going to pull it out first. I am steadily building up a pile of this plastic wrappers, by the way. So. Okay, cool. So this is a freebie with the order. Always need extra foiled leaves. Why not? Um, this is also the freebie. Ooh, I like the little notes one. This is such a soft purple. Could this go? This could go with a couple of kits. Okay, I'm with it. Here's some deco. So we find deco. I wanted this one for mostly header decoration. I had a few of these... Um, uh, for last season, last fall, but I ran out of them, so I needed some more. I also like the contrast between like uh, outlined versus solid. So I also wanted some solid leaf deco. Got these in all three foils as well. And so that's gonna come in handy for fall. 
you might have noticed I'm on a little bit of a header kick. So I ordered these vintage days. I also just like the way that this looks. It looks like a typewriter font. I think it'll go well with kits that have little typewriter elements. Um, so I ordered three of these and I guess there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can do six weeks on each with each foil color. That's cool. Um, so now for the kit and again, I do not remember what I ordered. So we're just gonna go through this one sheet at a time but this kit is called Golden. And it's in light gold foil, I believe. Yep. And it is definitely a uh, summer to fall kit. Not the least of which because it says an all at once summer collapsed into fall in the middle box. So this definitely feels like a transitioning for summer to fall. I guess that was really like the first two weeks of September, last week of August. So again, I am really running out of time. I'm very behind in my planners. A lot of us are. Um, I am glad we can be more forthright about this as a community. <laughs> I've appreciated this. Um, I just want to see cool spreads. I really don't care what date it is. Um, so yeah, and again, gingham. Exciting. So this is the full box sheet. This is the sheet with other boxes. Love the different sizes here. Again, gingham detail. This looks like marble. It's really pretty. Um, here are some icons. I also love the icons from Pretty Pink Co. Um, and again, they're very well matched. More floral deco here. So that's cool. Um, some torn strips, some headers. You could use this as a habit tracker if you need to. It's interesting that she pulled out these headers separately. Um, but yeah, they match the kit. So all good. And then here is the washi and header page or date cover page rather. So Nice, nice like blowing leaves on this, um, which is really cute. And again, good kingdom washi. Um, the headers have that same marbling that I showed in the box. So pretty adorable. Also got the deco. You can never have too much deco. My thing with deco is if you have extra left over, just save it. I have so much deco that I'm like, hey, I don't know if this is going to match another kit. I save it and then another kit comes out and I'm like, this is perfect. This goes perfectly. And then I don't have to buy another one. So um, love this deco sheet. And then I got the uh, journaling sheet. I think maybe for the gingham, transparent gingham strips. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Um I should maybe make some notes to myself. Dear future Ashley, this is why how you intend to use this. I think I also really like these um, uh, date covers, the transparent. I might use it for that. There's a lots of things I could use. So I also got the Autumn Trees Deco from their sale. It's a very, very like deep red orange, so very classic fall. Um, I like that they also offer a little bit brown, so you can, you're can you really covered by all of the sheets in this. And this is large enough that, yeah, you can make a cool scene on the sidebar. Um, these are more in line with the colors of the kit. They're more like yellow golden, so definitely we'll be using that with this kit. Um, but yeah, that is my order from the Pretty Pink Co. This kit's golden, light gold foil. Also picked up a bunch of fall deco and some date covers and you know what i'm just gonna put this back in the in the envelope for right now until it's time to put away the stickers because i just like the envelope and think it's cute Oof. this is gonna be interesting to try to take a picture of all of this but we carry on all right here we go two things from nikki plus three My eye went immediately to this dessert tiramisu sticker. What? I want to eat uh, every one of these. I want to make this and eat this. Okay. Anyway, that's a freebie. So let's go through the freebies real quick. I turned the kid upside down. Whoops. Um, here's some mini stamps or maybe appropriately sized stamps for what an actual stamp looks like. Again, somebody help me out on how to use these. I'm so bad at this. Um, here's a beach cafe scene. That'll go well with my remaining summer kits. Uh, this is the freebie that was available this weekend when you bought this kit, whatever weekend this was, since I don't remember. Um, again, can definitely see myself using these. I just need to figure out how to frame it appropriately and like where it goes in the spread. So I just 
yeah, I got to play around with a couple different types of placement. Uh, the bows that are very classy, Nikki plus three, and the date, the numbers. Um, here's this kit. It's called Autumn Stroll. It's in gold foil, I believe. I don't think this is like gold. This looks like hot gold, but it could be, um, it could be light gold. I'm not sure. Uh, and yeah, it's definitely a, a, an autumn kit, of course, like properly autumn, but I really liked the navy edition here. I love blue for fall, whether that's a soft blue or a navy blue, and I love a, a dark blue in a kit. Again, that Letters to Apollo kit last year, I think it was called Trails, um, had dark blue and it was silver and it was just, yeah, so I love a dark blue. Um, I like the Portobello Road sign here. That's cute. I wonder if that's a real place. Anyway. So these are the full boxes. This is the sheet with the boxes and labels. Um, still a few half boxes hanging on, which I'm excited about. Little pumpkin detail. Here is the um, washi. Ooh, with the pumpkins. It's super cute. This is making me think it's maybe light gold. It's looking really light gold here. Um, and then the date covers classy Nikki plus classic Nikki plus three. I hope she never changes these. Um, some layering options here. Her kids, I think, have gone to a la carte. So I'm wondering if I order just the three sheets um, and skip the functional one. Um, but here is the florals. I love the dark blue and red together here. So pretty. And the journaling sheet. I may have ordered this for the donuts because I think that's such a cute sticker. But uh, again, I love this large deco for just really making sidebars, making random empty corners of boxes just really pop. I think having the large deco just like makes a total difference. So I love these journaling sheets. Um, and yeah, the large floral, again, I think they go really well at the top of the spread in the header section um, where there's not a lot of other foil. And yeah, you can make a lot of interesting things. Um, cool. So this is Autumn Shops. Um, and this reminds me of, of scenes. They're not quite scenes, but I think, again, this would be cute in a corner of a spread down in the sidebar or towards the weekend. Um, I just love, uh, all of the details here. I really like this, like, awning. It's really pretty. This feels like the front of someone's house, like a really nice house. Um, so yeah. I still got that. So that is some deco, an autumn stroll, um, which is in, I believe, I'm going to check. I think it's in gold, regular gold. Here's a second order that I, um, that I made that I don't remember why. I guess it was like a mini order that I needed something with. Again, going to eat this sticker. Here's a freebie with the date covers. The same beach cafe one, so I might use this in multiple spreads. Um, I do not remember why I got this deco. I'll just be honest. I don't even know what I got here. So I got some Winterland deco. I think I may have been trying to do something with this, but we'll see. So here's one sheet of the deco. <laughs> here's the journaling sheet. Ooh, look at these ballet slippers. That's cute. This is more of a like, dark, dark blue still. Um, second journaling sheet. I like the days here. That's definitely going to get used for something. Maybe I was trying to use this in my functional. That's possible. And then here's some florals as well. So I might put this in my functional actually. Um, but yeah, that's Winterland Deco and another fall kit from Nikki Plus 3. Sadie stickers. This was a $2 Tuesday order where I just went ham on the gingham. I'm not ashamed to say that I looked at this and I was like, I need, I need most of these colors. I don't think I ordered all, but what did I get? The cinnamon bun. This is going to be really handy. You know what? Actually, this is funny because a lot of the kits I ordered already have gingham. So I may have played myself, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> this is acorn. Going to need this brown. Merlot. Um, this is kind of that wine color that I saw in the uh, Miss and Meow kit and a couple of other kits that I have coming. You can't go wrong with a pumpkin orange for fall. I mean, that is what fall is about, is orange. Same with this marigold. I think maybe even layering these now that they're in transparent 
matte could be really interesting. Layering similar ones, like what if it makes a slightly different color or effect? Um, forest green, I think green is going to um, be nice to offset the orange, the really strong kind of bright oranges and bright yellows. And then dusk sky. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking of this for spring. I haven't seen a lot of like this kind of turquoise blue for fall. So we'll see. But I just ordered a bunch of gingham and I love it. That's Sadie stickers. <clears throat> okay, last but not least, paper trail plans. I have to give a big shout out to Jess for literally finding this order when the postal service lost it. So the story is that it said delivered on a Tuesday, right? And I went out to my mailbox and I was like, hmm, it's not there. And so every day I'm checking and finally on Friday, I'm like, oh my gosh, my order is lost. So I emailed them saying, hey, my order says delivered. It didn't make it. I'm happy to replace it, like, like pay for a replacement because I really just want my stickers. And she was like, Jess was like, I'm going to reach out to the postal person and like the postal service and see what happened. And if not, we're happy to replace it, which I was like, oh my gosh, they would replace this for free. Anyway, so she tracked it down. And then I get an email from her the next day that's like, hey, the postal service is going to have this in your mailbox today. And there it was. And I was like, how did you make this magic happen? Um, so that was incredible customer service. Big shout out to them. But I also want to know from the postal service, y'all said this was delivered on Tuesday. I didn't have it. And suddenly it shows up magically intact in the package totally fine on Saturday. Where was it? Where are we all keeping it? And why would you want to hold my sticker, stickers hostage? And like, what the heck happened, USPS? Like, I'm very confused. So I still think that's, that's going in top 10 mysteries of 2023, where this was in the intervening days, why they had it and didn't give it to me. I have no idea. Anyway, shout out to Jess from Paper Trail Plans. You are awesome. You made it happen. You're the bomb.com and I love your shop and we'll continue to support you for forever because your stickers are the box. So let's organize this a bit. There we go. First, let's talk about the deco and other stuff and then we'll go into the kit. So this is a summer freebie for the shop. It's in silver foil. It's definitely ocean themed. I really like the hammock. I think I ended up using this on, yeah, on a kit that I was, a kit I planned with them. So. But I think the freebie was in a different color foil. Anyway, so I ordered the birthday deco sampler. I didn't get the birthday kit. I have a kit that I'm going to use for my birthday. It's a paper muse cross kit, but it's in rose gold foil. And I thought this would go really well with it. So I ordered the sampler in rose gold foil. I like the cake stand, the champagne. I love this awning. This kind of looks like a snake to me, but it's not. I know it's supposed to be a streamer. I'm not. Yeah, that's that's not shade. I just feel like. I looked at that and I was like, boom, snake. I uh, also got balloons. I think this is interesting because I can definitely see this being more of a hand-drawn sticker, but it's in foil. It's just like the shading on the side really feels more like a hand-drawn feel to me, but it's in foil. So I got dotted days of the week deco. I already use a lot of like um, paper trail plans headers, um, but I just thought it would be cool to have them kind of out like lined up already for me so that I don't need to um, adjust them and make sure they're lined with a ruler, which I end up having to do a lot. I also just like the deco on this the little dotted line. So, oh, I got these in all three foil colors. <laughs> nice. Coming to a top of a spread near you. And then I got this daisy one specifically to match this meadow kit. Um, and one second, be right back. And I am back. So uh, yeah, I got this header to match this kit. Um, I just think the daisies are super cute. I'm not really sure which one I'll go with. I like them both. I may end up going with this one that has the daisies kind of over the top versus in between, but they're both great. So um, that is the extra stuff. Now I got this Meadows kit. This kit to me feels, it felt fall at first, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, summer? Then I'm like, Mm, transition I don't know there's literally summer in the middle box so who knows maybe it's a summer to fall thing I don't know I'll decide soon but 
Either way, I need this in my planner. Yesterday, so these are the full boxes. This is in, um, this is in light gold foil. Lots of extra deco at the top. So again, I love shops where you get their kit and you pretty much have everything that you need. You don't need to buy a ton of extras. That doesn't mean that I don't, because clearly I do. But um, yep, love the boxes. I just like this olive color. It's so pretty and you don't see it in a lot of places. So lots of different options here for both deco and boxes. Lots of nice swooches, um, habit trackers, definitely a lot of cute labels there. So you've got a lot of options. I got the journaling sheet because I'm obsessed with this woman holding the basket. I think that's really cute. I also love this frame, even though I'm probably going to pull the ribbon out of it and cut the middle out and do something else with the ribbon in the middle. But I also low-key might color the hands on this person just to make her brown. Um, don't know why I'm whispering that. <laughs> not a secret but um I just thought this was super cute and pretty so yeah I got the journaling sheet also got the floral deco um lots of cute little deco um lots of cute deco goodies here that you could use so like the little honey jar this little teacup the ticket like there's lots of little nice details that you can stick in other places but a ton of good deco options here I also got the washi sampler I think don't call me on this. I think what Ashley, who bought this, was thinking was that I would line up what this um the Daisy Days of the Week with the one of the samplers here, one of these these washi strips, maybe the green. I'm not sure exactly, but I just wanted the option. I also wanted this uh, deco for the header, but. Yeah, I I think that's what I was thinking. It's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just excited to plan with this. So yeah, this is from Paper Chill Plans. Again, shout out to Jess. Um, and I'm so glad that I finally got this order and that they didn't have to send me a replacement. Um, cool, so that is it for my sticker haul. Thanks to you all for watching. Um, I got so many lovely things that I cannot wait to put in my planner. So yeah, if you have any questions for me, obviously reach out to me on Instagram, planned with Ash, or just leave a comment. But it was great to get my feet wet and sticker hauling again. See you next time. Bye.